Hi guys, my name is Peter and in this video, I am going to review the Toyota Fortuner. The current variant that you are seeing is a 2.8 litre diesel automatic variant. And talking about the different variants in which a Toyota Fortuner comes are, Fortuner comes in a 2.7 litre petrol variant available in both the manual and automatic transmission and also a 2.8 litre diesel again available in both the automatic and manual transmission. And with this 2.8 litre diesel, you can choose between 4x4 and 4x2. The the current color that you are seeing is white and also the car is available in black, brown, silver and grey and the price ranges between 28 to 34 lakhs ex showroom. Toyota launched the Fortuner in 2005 and the current variant that you are seeing is the third generation of the Fortuner. Talking about the front profile, the car comes with a projector HRD headlight setup that throws in white light and also the headlight range is really good and also we have the bi-beam running right here. That is the projector setup branding and also we have four independent daylight running LED but the turn indicators are a halogen bulb. Moving down we can see the LED fog lamp enclosed onto a chrome structure but sadly this car do not have a cornering function. And also you can see the chrome plated slanting grill which looks really good in person and also we have a large Toyota logo. Moving down we can see the bumper and it has a crazy aggressive design and moreover the front profile looks a really sporty, aggressive and in person the car looks massive and the amount of road presence this car has is really good. And now let's move to the side profile of this car. Talking about uh, the dimensions, the car has a 4.7 meter of length, 1.8 meter of height and 220 millimeter of uh, ground clearance. Even though the car is massive, while you drive it, you don't feel that massiveness. It is really comfortable to drive. Talking about uh, the wheels, the car comes with a 17 inch wheel for a 4 into 2 variant and 18 inch wheel for a 4 into 4 variant. All four wheels comes with a uh, ventilated disc brakes. Front suspension is uh, a dual wishbone suspension and the rear suspension is a uh, coil spring. And also we do have a cladding uh, around the wheel arch which looks really rugged. And also we do have a side footstep which is really important for an SUV of uh, this height. And uh, the footstep stretches all the way back so that all passengers can make use of uh, the footstep as well. And uh, Fortuner also comes with an electrically adjustable and foldable rear mirror. And also the indicator is uh, integrated right here. And also we have a welcome light which is uh, placed at the bottom of uh, the mirror as well. Moving back, we also have the same 17 inch wheel for this particular variant and for the 4 into 4 variant, we have the 18 inch wheel. Moving to the rear end of the Fortuner, just like the front, the car looks really elegant and sporty. And here you can see the semi LED tail light which has a line like structure but the indicator and reverse light are halogen bulb. And here you can see the Fortuner stator on the chrome plating. And we also have the Toyota monogram. Moving up, we can see the rear wiper, defogger, the spoiler along with the high mount stop lamp. Moving to the roof, you can see the roof rail, roof lines and a shock fin antenna. And uh, towards the side, you can see the fuel lid which has uh, 80 litre of capacity and the car averages around uh, 12 to 14 km per litre. Here is the frog lamp. And uh, the rear bumper also houses uh, the rear parking sensors and also we have a black line which uh, slightly improves the sporty look from the backside. And uh, underneath the car we have the spare wheel and uh, the exhaust pipe outlet. And uh, along with the number plate illuminator we have uh, the reverse camera and also a small button uh, to open the tailgate. Fortuner comes with a power tailgate so that uh, with a single press of this button the tailgate automatically opens and uh, it's a really smooth and fast process. And moving on, this is where a Fortuner disappoints a bit, that is with the boot space. Fortuner just comes with a 296 litre of boot space which is the least in the segment. And uh, this boot space is uh, basically calculated with all the three rows turned on. And uh, Fortuner also comes with some uh, helpful features like uh, hooks around that makes uh, tying up luggage a bit more easier. But uh, if you are traveling alone or with uh, a small travel, you can just remove the seat by pulling this thread and the removal process is really easy as well. And with that, you can maximize or basically increase the boot space. And uh, overall, with the third row removed, uh, we have ample boot space. Other than that, uh, you might feel a bit of a lack in boot space. And you can close the tailgate by pressing this button or else you can close manually as well. So guys, now let's move to the rear passenger side door and see how comfortable Toyota Fortuner is. And all four door handles are chrome plated and that itself is a really premium finish. 
and the opening door is uh, really smooth the door is well weighted wide opening and also we have large enough window so that we don't feel claustrophobic and getting onto the door profile first of all here you can see a fortuner monogram and uh, a completely leather wrapped armrest which looks premium from every aspect and also we have a one touch open and one touch close power window inserted in a piano black finish and uh, we have a chrome plated door handle along with the lock mechanism moving down we have a uh, plenty of uh, storage space with a one liter bottle holder and also you can see a speaker output since the car comes with uh, a food step it is really convenient to get onto the car we also have a plastic scuff plate so guys now let's move on to the rear seats and how to get onto the rear seats first of all you can just pull this lever right here and it's really simple once you pull the lever the seat automatically folds uh, forward so that you can get onto the rear seats talking about the third row seats uh, we have a uh, adequate under thigh support and also the car comes with a rear headrest that is adjustable cup holders seat belts and also ample storage space in the third row and uh, it is basically suitable for children in my opinion and uh, talking about uh, the uh, middle seats as you can see the car comes with uh, a beige interior and also you can choose between a uh, beige and black interior as well and getting out of the car is really simple and uh, first of all you can see the center piece right here which has a 12 volt output and a small storage space the transmission bump is uh, pretty high so that uh, the middle passenger may not feel that comfortable and also we have uh, a weight carrying hook right here so that you can carry some weight right here and also the car comes with the uh, two magazine holders moving to the roof we have uh, a handle along with a hook right here and also we have a uh, two ac vents one of them is this and also we have reading lights right here and that is an led reading light and the car comes with the dual zone climate control so this is the second zone control right here and this is the second ac van right here so guys overall the car feels pretty comfortable not to the innova standard and uh, the rear passengers have a three headrest and also the car comes with uh, a center armrest along with the two different cup holders so guys this is basically the rear seats of fortuner we have a uh, ample space the car is comfortable and also the leather quality is also really good now let's move to the driver side door and the cockpit of the car and see what toyota fortuner offers right there and first of all you can see the chrome plated door handle the car comes with a rear sensor and also a keyhole for manual door opening just like the rear door or the front door is also well weighted wide opening and large windows so no question of claustrophobication moving to the door profile we have a, a completely leather wrapped armrest one touch close and one touch up power window buttons the electric mirror controls lock controls etc here we have a chrome plated door handle along with a lock mechanism and we have a silver trim running around moving on we have a 1 liter bottle holder storage space and a speaker output moving up we also have a tweeters in uh, the both front doors as well and uh, since the car has foot step it is really easy to climb onto the car and also we have a toyota badged uh, scuff plate as well talking about the driver seats toyota fortuner comes with uh, an electric driver seat that is a uh, four way adjustable and also the passenger seat is also electric but uh, we do not have any memory function and this is basically the profile of a driver seat and uh, it is a uh, same wrapped in a beige leather and also the car has a really good uh, bolsters that hug us together and do not let us uh, go out of place and uh, the quality is uh, really good as well so guys now moving down we can see the pedals right here we have a uh, rubber pedals right and also a dead pedal and uh, moving to the right we can see some buttons to open on the fuel lid as well as the bonnet and also some button uh, to turn off a power door to turn on uh, the rear trunk and also to turn on and off a parking sensors Moving up we have a small little uh, storage space right here which can be opened by just a press and also we have this charge stop button right here and also we have the AC vent with a silver treatment and we also have a side window defogger right here and this is a quick look over the dashboard of a Fortuner and the beige and black combination looks really good and uh, this is the iconic view outside and oh boy the car looks massive and also the road seems to be well visible from all angles and you can see the bonnet and that's also a really good feel while driving moving to the center console we are we can see the center armrest which is also leather wrapped in beige and also we have ample deep space inside moving forward here we can see buttons uh, to turn on and off traction control and also the start stop button that is the auto start stop button along with the eco mode and power mode can be toggled right here 
here you can see the leather wrapped handbrake and also the car comes with a six speed torque converter diesel automatic gearbox and also you can choose between a uh, uh, diesel and petrol automatic and also you can slot the gear into sports mode uh, to get that sporty feel as well as you can see we have a fake wood texture right here and also a closable uh, cup holder is also provided with the fortuner and that also really looks uh, premium and uh, it looks uh, in place and moving forward we have a little bit of storage space two dummy buttons a aux port and uh, a usb port along with a 12 volt output and uh, since the car do not have uh, a key right now i cannot uh, basically turn on uh, the infotainment system and the ac anyways we have uh, a dual zone automatic climate control with a digital display and above the climate control uh, system we have uh, some warnings like a passenger airbag uh, seat belt warning etc above that we can see the 7 inch infotainment system and towards the side you can see a pillar like a beige leather wrapping that looks really premium and talking about the infotainment system it is a touch screen infotainment system supports the satellite navigation uh, radio bluetooth aux etc but uh, it do not comes with the uh, upper car play and android auto above the infotainment system you can see two ac vent hazard light uh, switch and a small clock right here and towards the left you can see a leather wrapped area and if you press the monogram of fortuner you can basically open the upper glove box it's a cooled glove box basically fortuner has two glove box this is the upper glove box and this is the lower glove box and the lower glove box is large enough to keep all those stuff and now let's open up uh, the cop passenger sun visor it is also leather wrapped and when you open down uh, the mirror right here the light automatically turns on and it is a halogen bulb right here and uh, when you close the mirror it basically turns off and uh, moving to the center we can see the rear mirror it is an auto rear mirror that is dims automatically in the night and brightens up uh, in the daytime and also you can manually control it by pressing the auto button right here towards the roof uh, here you can see a sunglass holder and also the car has two different reading lights both of them are LED and also you can see uh, the ambient lighting controls right here as well but the car do not have any sunroof uh, right now with this model and uh, this is the instrument cluster of a fortuner basically in the left side you can see the rpm meter engine temperature towards the right you can see the speedometer and the fuel gauge in the center you can see a color tft display which shows uh, a navigation uh, steps uh, average fuel to empty odometer mileage etc and this is uh, the steering wheel it is an electrically driven power steering and as and has a wooden texture and uh, it looks really premium and also the stitching looks really good as well and also we can see thumb grip here as well and as you can see that this car comes with the pedals for a downshift that is minus and also upshift uh, for plus and it is also made up of a really good quality and uh, that's also really cool as well towards the left you can see the infotainment system control uh, OIS command towards the right you can see the uh, TFT display control and here you can see the cruise control button as well and uh, this is basically the steering wheel overview and towards the left of the steering wheel you can see the front and rear wiper controls and towards the right you can see the automatic headlight control as well and uh, here you can see a handle so that you can uh, just hold on to the handle and get onto the car and uh, this is uh, the driver's and visor and also we have a mirror along with a light and that's also really cool so guys this is basically the interior overview of fortuner and the interior looks premium useful and luxurious as well and uh, now let's open the engine bay and see what Toyota offers right there and uh, as I said before in uh, the introduction of the video Fortuner comes to the 2.7 litre petrol engine as well as a 2.8 litre diesel engine available in both automatic and manual along with the 4x4 and 402 and the engine bay is uh, almost well organized we can see some uh, engine gap here and there the car is well insulated and uh, there is no noise coming out of the cabin as well and guys this is basically the review of fortuner i really hope you guys enjoy the video if so please consider subscribing this channel liking the video and please do comment down below what do you think about the fortuner as well and that's it i'll see you guys in another video until then bye